My name is Emmanuel Jiao, and I'm a recording artist, an activist, a storyteller, a life coach. So I've, there are so many titles I acquired along the way, and I learn as I move on and walking in my purpose. Well, I'm a product of racism. I was born in a country torn by war and the history of it from colonial times to when the Arabs was left to take care of the country or to take it over. They introduced what is called Sharia law. And what does Sharia law mean? It means the the Arab Muslims that are in the country owned everything, the land, the cows, the leaves, everything in it, including the people. So if you're a Muslim and you're an Arab, you, any, you can do whatever you want to the people of that land. Make them slaves, make them do whatever. If you want to chop them into meat, it's justified. The constitution allowed them to do so. And when resources were discovered, it even made it worse. So, my, I, there's an area, some of my aunties died of poisoning. There was an area where the government troops will come in, kill the people, and the oil company moves in. That type of racism, I was racist because of that. People were racist to me and I, I, be, I developed a desire to kill as many enemies as possible because of what I saw, what was done to my mom. My mom humiliated in front of me. My aunt was raped. I saw my village burning. I saw the soul of my village was taken away from me. And that's the type of racism I experienced. And any other ones that I experienced along the way, they were not as disgusting as what it was. And so, that's the part of racism. And what am I doing now? I found a new way to fight racism. But now, in a way that I don't judge the person who's racist to me. Because I understand now, the system, why we call people racist, because they have fear about the future, about opportunities being taken away from them. And also they have a sense of guilt of what in the past. So, and they, to justify that, they have beliefs that has been given to them, that the other person is a lesser human being than them. So let's go back to leave racism. The winners set up the rules. So whoever wins will set up the rules so that the loser don't come and catch up. Now take it for example, I came to, to the Western country. There's so many barriers that I have to fight. Imagine if you want to buy a house, there's something called having a credit history. How did I know about credit history? So you have to go and borrow. And so I went to borrow and borrow and borrow. Then borrow as much as I can, borrow a car, a buy, buy that and that and that's all you're building. By the time you're lost, you're spending something that you don't have and you live below zero. And now you have to get yourself out of that. And you find majority of people who come from the bottom don't know about financial literacy. So now you spend at least the rest of your life trying to buy your freedom. So there's a smarter way to set people down. If you look at African Americans, there's so many setting blocks. So now you have to deal with the, with the loss, the emotional uh, challenges of your parents, the mental challenges, the physical challenges, and the poverty that you're born to. So poverty are created by the winner. So you put people on poverty as you win and remain on top and create rules to protect that. So that is the classic way of racism. And that's why you go to the higher picture where you have countries destabilizing other people's economies because they depend on them. If that economy becomes strong, it's a potential threat for them in the future. My music is basically sharing my experiences for social emotional learning. So I like to tell stories through music or whatever experience I encounter. Or if there's something that I saw that inspired me, I would like to put it. So I also like to listen to others. What are they saying? So mostly it's positive music. It's activism music. It's using the sound to express myself in a way that I may not be able to put either in 
drawing a picture, but there's something I like about doing it with music. And it's also a form of meditation for me. And it's also another way to rewire my brain to think differently, apart from entertaining. What can an individual do? What I'll look at it is, for you to have a greater impact in the world, look at yourself. What, where are you now? What's your purpose? Because when you know your purpose, it's impossible to be a racist. And when you know your purpose, you can walk in your purpose with clear defined goals and a burning desire to act that will make you create an impact that is making our world a better place without even you knowing. So subconsciously, you're changing the world, not in your awareness, but through your purpose because it will guide you. And the people who are setting this International Day for elimination of racial discrimination are people walking in their purpose. Peace is you. You ought have seen my face in the telly, fat hungry belly, flies in my eyes, head too big for my size. Just another little starving child, running around in Africa, born to be wild. Praise God, praise the Almighty for sending an angel to rescue me. I got a reason for being on this earth, cause I know more than many water. Life is worth it now. Now that I get a chance to stand my ground, I'm gonna run over mountains, leaves and bounds. I ain't an angel, hope I be one soon. And if I am, I wanna be like Emma McCune, me. I would have probably died from starvation or some other wretched disease. I would have grown up with no education, just another refugee. I stand here because somebody cared. I stand here because somebody dared. I know there is a lot of Emma's out here who's willing and trying to save a life of a child. Ah, remember the time when I was small, where I couldn't read or write at all. Now I'm all grown up, I got my education. The sky is the limit and I can't stop, but no one. Oh, I'll pray for this day to come. And I pray that the world find wisdom to give the poor in need some assistance instead of putting up resistance. Sitting and waiting for the politics to fix this. It ain't gonna happen. They're all sitting on the asses, popping champagne and sponging of the masses. Coming from the refugee, boy soldier, but I still got my dignity. I gotta say it again. If Emma never rescued me, I would be a corpse from the African plane. plane. So this is a spoken word about Emma McCune, a British aid worker who rescued 150 child soldiers, and I became one of them. That was an act of anti-racism. She was working on her purpose. Her purpose called out, and she did something. The impact she did to me today is global, and I continue to carry a legacy.